The Planetary Science Decadal Survey is a publication of the United States National Research Council produced for NASA and other United States government agencies such as the National Science Foundation. The document identifies key questions facing planetary science and outlines recommendations for space and ground-based exploration ten years into the future. Missions to gather data to answer these big questions are described and prioritized, where appropriate. Another major purpose of the program is to maintain an overall balance to space exploration, where, at a given year, the focus may shift to one target of interest. Over time scales of 10 to 15 years, the general direction and scope of the programs goes in the desired way. 2013–2022, Visions and Voyages for Planetary Science Visions and Voyages for Planetary Science in the Decade 2013–2022 was published in prepublication form on March 7, 2011, and in final form later that year. Draft versions of the document were presented at town hall meetings around the country, at lunar and planetary conferences, and made available publicly on the NASA website and via the National Academies Press. The report differed from previous reports in that it included brutally honest budgetary review from a third-party contractor. The report highlighted a new Mars rover, a mission to Jupiter's moon Europa, and a mission to Uranus and its moons as proposed flagship missions. The Mars mission was given highest priority, followed by the Europa mission. The Mars rover proposal was called MAX-C and it would store samples for eventual return to Earth, but the method of return was left open. It only recommended the rover mission if it could be done cheaply enough, 2.5 billion United States dollars. The committee producing the survey was led by Steve Squires of Cornell University and included five panels focusing on the inner planets, Mercury, Venus, and the moon, Mars, not including Phobos and Deimos, the gas giant planets, satellites, Galilean satellites, Titan, and other satellites of the giant planets and primitive bodies, asteroids, comets, Phobos, Deimos, Pluto, Charon, and other Kuiper Belt objects, meteorites, and interplanetary dust. Mission and Technology Studies, Mercury Lander Mission Concept Study Venus Mobile Explorer Mission Concept Study Venus Intrepid Tessera Lander Concept Study Venus Climate Mission Concept Study Lunar Geophysical Network Concept Study Lunar Polar Volatiles Explorer Mission Concept Study Near Earth Asteroid Trajectory Opportunities in 2020-2024 Mars 2018 Max C Caching Rover Concept Study Mars Sample Return Orbiter Mission Concept Study Mars Sample Return Lander Mission Concept Study Mars 2018 Sky Crane Capability Study Mars Geophysical Network Options Mars Geophysical Network Concept Study Mars Polar Climate Concepts Jupiter Europa Orbiter Component of EJSM Concept Study IO Observer Concept Study Ganymede Orbiter Concept Study Trojan Tour Concept Study Titan Saturn System Mission Saturn Atmospheric Entry Probe Trade Study Saturn Atmospheric Entry Probe Mission Concept Study Saturn Ring Observer Concept Study Enceladus Flyby and Sample Return Concept Studies Enceladus Orbiter Concept Study Titan Lake Probe Concept Study Chiron Orbiter Mission Concept Study Uranus and Neptune Orbiter and Probe Concept Studies Neptune Triton Kuiper Belt Objects Mission Concept Study Comet Surface Sample Return Mission Concept Study Cryogenic Comet Nucleus Sample Return Mission Technology Study Small Fission Power System Feasibility Studithi recommendation for the New Frontiers program was a selection from one of Comet Surface Sample Return, Lunar South Pole Aitken Basin Sample Return, Saturn Probe, Trojan Tour and Rendezvous, and Venus in Situ Explorer. Then another selection adding IO Observer, Lunar Geophysical Network, for NF4 and 5. In the 2011 response from NASA to the review, NASA supported the New Frontiers recommendations. The first three New Frontiers missions include New Horizons to Pluto flyby, the Juno Jupiter orbiter, and the Osiris Rex NEO sample return mission. For the Astrophysics Review, see Astronomy and Astrophysics Decadal Survey. Earlier NASA planetary science surveys and studies of direction Topic 2003 to 2013 New Frontiers in the Solar System 
The previous study, New Frontiers in the Solar System, an Integrated Exploration Strategy 2003–2013 was published by the National Academies Press, in 2003. The committee producing the survey was led by Michael J. Belton. The five panels focused on the inner planets, Mars, the giant planets, large satellites and astrobiology. The survey placed heavy emphasis on Mars exploration including the Mars Exploration Rovers, established of the New Frontiers program including New Horizons mission to study Pluto and established programs in power and propulsion to lay a technological basis for programs in later decades including manned missions beyond Earth orbit. Topic 1995 to 2015 Space Science in the 21st Century Imperatives for the Decades While not titled as a decadal survey a planetary science plan covering 1995 to 2015 was published by the Space Studies Board The report recommended a focus on Galileo-like missions to study Saturn Uranus and Neptune Including a mission to rendezvous with Saturn's rings and study of Titan, it also recommended study of the Moon with a «Lunar Geoscience Orbiter», a network of lunar rovers and sample return from the lunar surface. The report recommended a Mercury orbiter to study not only that planet but provide some solar study as well. A «program of extensive study of Mars» Beginning with Mars Pathfinder mission was planned for 1995 to be followed up by one in 1998 to return samples to Earth for study. Study of primitive bodies such a comet or asteroid was recommended as a flyby mission of Apollo and Amor asteroid. Topic 1986 to 1996: A strategy for exploration of the outer planets. The studied note the success of the last goals, the exploration of the outer planets especially Jupiter and Saturn, but noted the lack of exploration of smaller bodies like asteroids and comets. 1980–1990, strategy for exploration of primitive solar system bodies Topic 1977 to 1987 Strategy for Exploration of the Inner Planets While not a decadal survey, the 1975 report of Space Science included the exploration of the outer planets. Topic 1968 to 1975 Planetary Exploration Published in the summer of 1968, it reviewed past and present understanding of the Solar System and recommended several new missions. The following targets were given priority Jupiter Mars Venus Mercury 1990–1990 In the summer of 1965 the Space Science Board reviewed lunar and planetary science opportunities. Space exploration, astronomy, and the humans in space were major topics. These meetings brought together major ideas like the Grand Tour, study of the outer planets and Sun, and large space telescopes and their additional Woods Hole meetings in 1969 and 1970 that influenced some of the large projects of the 1970s. This study also showed signs of how the scientific community began to siphon the public's excitement about the manned exploration of space into more eccentric scientific projects, marking a shift from a more supportive role to actually taking the place of manned exploration. The study marked a distinction between manned and unmanned missions, laying the foundation for a collision between two concepts in which scientists would explore the solar system from Earth using unmanned vehicles because that, rather than human exploration as an end in and of itself supported by science. Without boots on the ground public interest collapsed leaving astronauts' purpose to be doing even more science experiments. See also 
Astronomy and Astrophysics Decadal Survey. <laughs>